is uh, for me an important aspect of today urban planning, as I think that the technology of, of uh, geographic information software uh, is now developing some uh, uh, ontologies in uh, representing and uh, helping people live uh, in a better urban space, uh, giving them uh, giving them different. Uh, uh, different characteristics in the uh, lifetime of what is happening in the urban space. Phenomenology uh, is connected, these four are connected, and phenomenology is connected uh, with accent because, uh, with accent because sometimes uh, the, the urban happening by accident becomes our heritage and it becomes uh, the identity of that place. Uh, communication is a key factor of now the every every urban planning because everybody wants space and everybody wants to, to make a statement and we, we use urban space to make that statement even if by by street arts or by different carnivals parties everything is a is an urban statement uh, an urban statement that provides that place identity and creates the different universes. Uh, in my understanding there are two different uh, two different groups of urban urban layers. There is a physical physical group uh, where we can uh, show information about elevation, transportation, uh, zoning patterns. And there is, the, I think, the, the lack of the, the geographic information software that is the information, uh, informal information, the action layer, what's happening in the place, appropriation potential, uh, uh, urban renouncement, user identity, safety, uh, what people think about the place, how people leave the place, what they, what they want of the place to, to make a more democratic and more participatory uh, urban development. Uh, to explain the concept of how ontologies are presented to the people, uh, I'm going to show some examples. And, uh, for that, I'm going to try to explain a little bit what, what my thoughts are on geographic information systems. By open position systems and uh, remote sensing, we can capture different uh, aspects of life in urban space. And that is uh, translated into geographic information system, uh, where we write data, we can edit data, we can modify the data, and we can display the data. The part that I was uh, saying earlier, uh, where we can stop making the same mistakes, and we can learn from them, or we can adapt and understand how people actually leave the space and what people actually want of an urban space. The participatory geographic system, uh, participatory geographic information system is uh, what I think that can bring the uh, non-material aspect that I was talking about in the, the, the geographic information system that is the the, how people leave the, spa the space and not, not how they material materialize the space because every manifestation in the urban space is that, as I said, uh, communication. And people are not communicating well. Maybe that's the problem of the, of the urban space and not the problem of the, the people. Because I believe that different groups within the urban space are creating the identity that is something that is not uh, it's not being studied today uh, because of uh, because of trying to get to a stable uh, mass uh, gentrification of the urban space. These are some case studies that that uh, that uh, I think that, that were uh, a good explanation of, of what I'm talking about. Uh, at, at, uh, first, I'm going to show some that uh, people already know that are the 
physical uh, ontology that I was talking about. Uh, here you can see the lighting, how lighting affects the room space, how it is distributed, where there is a lack of it, um, the open space or green spaces, the supply, uh, general rooms, and interpretation of it. Today, this, all this information is provided by, by, uh, to us by geographic information software. Uh, what I was uh, saying about the lack of uh, the, the problem in the geographic information so software is that it's not persecutory. And there is a lot of programs and a lot of uh, different components in geographic information software. And there is no uh, uh, nuclear geographic information software where we can study the urban space by layers. If we want to see for example, the uh, lightning and open space register, uh, that probably there is a software that does this too, but there is no software that, that connects all the, the, the subjects that I'm going to respond to. Uh, this is a, a case study in Chicago where by the the RS software, it is transmitted to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the population where there is snow blowing at that time. Uh, when there is snowing, uh, people know from which streets they can, they can pass at that time that, that are not, um, that are, are not uh, closed uh, because of, of the snow. Uh, towards bringing the, the precipitatory geographic system, I think that uh, there has to be a community input where we are going to gather the information, uh, uh, not just how, what people think about the place, but how they live it, what they want to do with bringing a uh, uh, democratic uh, urban statement. Uh, architects uh, and institutions need to analyze the information compare alternatives, bring those alternatives to the subjects where they can, uh, let's say, vote what they really want for their city. Uh, therefore, we can create a better city. These are some, some examples where I believe that that there are cultural manifestations and communications in process, uh, the phenomenology that I was talking about that by accident becomes the identity of the place and evolves all the community uh, within one purpose, uh, creating a gender ontology within a small public space. Here we can see in the favela um, process that can call a, a graffiti uh, where the people from from that place have participated in bringing, bringing that, uh, that identity to their place and there's a history that uh, some kids with problems have participated in it and have, uh, they, they, have, they have been given a, a, a community sense. Uh, that's another example here in Portugal where uh, a statement is being made by the, I, I don't know that, the name for that in English, the, the tissue, but uh, where, where people uh, bring the, those, those elements to the public space to make a statement. What, uh, for example, there, there was a statement of that in Australia where people uh, start making that to fight against another uh, McDonald's uh, restaurant being open. Uh, this is a, another example of a kind of uh, another, it's not graffiti, but it's kind of the same. Uh, the same subject expression where we want to communicate something. But uh, one, one of the, uh, the phenomenological and ephemeral aspects that, that I think that today is a, 
the perfect example is parking day, where people uh, they appropriate uh, parking space and uh, different groups can uh, appropriate that space and bring uh, to to that space what they want, either if it is a garden or if it is a games place or if it is a coffee shop or if it, everything can can be made during that day in the public space. It's, it's an ephemeral uh, it's an ephemeral participation, but I think that it's a statement by people saying that we want to own space because I, as I was saying, space, urban space is it's kind of a projection of our house. Everybody wants to feel in their city like they feel like they're out. We want to belong to our urban space. These two elements are clear uh, because of, the, of the, what I was talking about, the, the nice gentrification of the urban space. This is, for me, this is a uh, clear statement where people uh, create uh, boundaries. Uh, in this case, it's a, a, it's a visual boundary, but uh, there is a, an appropriation of the space where people are saying we want to do this. In this example, for, uh, for example, here, uh, people uh, have brought different uh, nationalities to, to a place. That within that, that micro space, there were even more microspace is bringing different things and consolidating that urban space bringing diversity to the city. Uh, it, this is an example, an old example here in, in uh, Porto. Uh, it's um, a ferry, I think it's fair, a ferry, very neat. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit of a degraded part of town uh, that's this, this is a kind of a old fair uh, where people at Saturdays at 6, 6 7 a.m. Go, go to that place, they appropriate the place to, to bring a, a commercial aspect to it. It's, 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 um, it's now a tradition to for, uh, of Porto. It's, uh, when, when we talk about this place, it's, this, this statement comes to our minds. The accident that I was talking about, the phenomenological aspect of the, of the place. Uh, this is a, a strategy that, that I, I have envisioned where architects. Uh, it comes to, to my mind the, the phrase that architects uh, develop everything from the city to the spoon. But I think that today we cannot just develop the city from the city to the spoon. We cannot just make an object and give it to society. We have to, to study it, we have to moderate uh, the interaction. Um, the, institution, the institution part is it's like the city hall and uh, all the institutions in the, in the city that uh, give the administrative, the administrative management. I think that they, they, they should, should stick to that subject, uh, although today, uh, it's kind of all these as aspects are centralized in institutions. The, the city hall makes the, the most of the city halls uh, makes the make the, um, the geographic information system that we can access online and uh, see the information. Uh, this is uh, contradictory to the participatory. Uh, geographic information system that I think that can bring a, a happier or more sustainable uh, urban uh, life. Uh, the urban, uh, as, I, uh, as I just said, uh, the user brings the urban metamorphosis, the phenomenological aspect to the, to the urban environment. Uh, Uh, this is a, a graphic that uh, what, 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 uh, what, I, what I've just said to try to exemplify it. Uh, we have the preceptory of the geographic information system. We have community empowerment. We have the democratic urban space. We have the active politics in the urban space, um, which, which uh, provokes uh, new community projects to 
uh, public policy decision by the by the population uh, providing uh, local development and heritage and quality of life. This is a, another case study. Uh, like I said, the first ones were more of a physical study of the geographic <coughs> system. This is a more participatory geographic information system and uh, non-physical uh, representation of the city life. Uh, in this study, Ellen uh, asked, uh, this, this was not made by uh, computer software, because it is an aspect that computer software should be accessed by everyone, but it's too expensive nowadays, still too expensive. So this was made by uh, paper map where people will uh, uh, categorize the urban spaces by uh, safe or pleasant not safe or not pleasant or indifferent or medium. Uh, after after the um, after that um, that rating, uh, people were categorized by gender, by uh, age, by race, uh, by social uh, social status. Um, then we we would uh, we had the um, the layers that I was saying. That, that I was talking about, where we can read the urban environment by layers. We can we can see, for example, how those people from the age uh, read the urban environment. This is the same example. This this for me is, is kind of what uh, a beginning. This, this was made in Russia. This is kind of a beginning of what, what I am talking about when I envision to open space. Uh, this project was made by a, a group in, a, in Moscow. It's uh, of a, like a, the site says, in Moscow idea. The, the, the idea was to bring uh, the democratic uh, urban interf interface with the urban users to make people act more uh, active in political uh, urban matters. All these thoughts are ideas to the urban space and this, there was a process where people uh, in, the, in the first place everybody uh, gives ideas in the second place uh, in the second phase the ideas uh, are developed by architects, designers, and uh, other, other disciplines. And on, a, on, a first, uh, on, on that same on the same phase, people vote on what they want for the city. So the people uh, kind of say what they want for the city, for professionals to development, then they vote for, uh, for the project that, that, that they like more, and then those projects are exposed in um, an exhibit. Agile to jump. What? 